So today I was going to start a large painting project, um, but I've decided to just work on one of these small canvas panels. Um, I'm just going to work on a portrait painting. I haven't done much portraiture aside from the slew competition, which I did recently, but I really want to start focusing on, oh, sorry about the truck, on doing some more of these smaller paintings more regularly, um, trying to get one done a week is probably going to be the plan. Um, I'm just feeling like I'm lacking a little bit in the amount of paintings that I have been producing recently. I think I've been getting a little bit too caught up on doing large scale projects, doing big paintings. Everything ha has to be really sort of well thought out and orchestrated. Um, and I just kind of want to get back to just learning and developing the craft as it is, um, and particularly with portraiture. So I want to work on more of these just 12 by 12 inch canvas boards, uh, work on them for a couple of hours, smash one out in a day, and just move forward. I'm going to do a bunch of different subject matters with these. Obviously today, as I mentioned, is portraiture and I'm just gonna have fun with it and get back to painting. So I've just pulled this reference image off Pinterest um, and probably just gonna spend two or three hours on this today, uh, see how we go and call it quits and we'll move on. Next week, we'll pick something else and just gonna try and yeah get, get a lot more of these smaller paintings done. I just feel like, yeah, I just need to be pushing harder and, and getting more work finished. And just accepting that everything doesn't have to be such a large scale project. So for this piece, I'm going to be using the Zorn palette, which is four simple colors. Um, we've got titanium white, yellow ochre, ivory, black, and vermilion. Um, I've heard that this palette is super diverse um, and you can create a really nice range of colors using just these four basic tones. Um, I've never done it before. I've been wanting to do it for a while. So this little study seems like a good opportunity to give it a crack and see what we can come up with. I haven't really done any research um, into doing so or into developing skin tones. I thought I'd just go in sort of blind and see what I can come up with myself. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. So my inspiration for sort of taking on this somewhat challenge was actually the artist Beeple. You might have seen him and his work in the news as of recent. He's a digital artist. He works in 3D spaces. And recently he has been selling NFTs. He recently sold the highest selling ever NFT at $69 million, which is pretty damn incredible if I'm being honest um, and it's awesome seeing digital artists finally have a space to be able to properly sell and monetize their artwork but people he actually works um, on every days so he creates a piece every day no matter what and he has done so for the last 12 years which is just mind-blowing to me the amount of effort and work that he is able to put in and and just to be able to keep that up over 12 years is so inspiring and and that made me sort of reflect on myself and my own practice um, and I just realized that I have so much more time that I could be working on my craft and truly honing it in and and working on these smaller pieces makes that a lot more achievable in my eyes limiting myself to to 12 by 12 inches it's, it's a good size canvas but it's something that i'm not going to get too overwhelmed with uh, in terms of time and yeah 
for me personally, it's going to be a lot more achievable. So my goal is just to get one of these done at least a week. Um, maybe I'll build up to a couple a week. I don't know if I'll get to one a day. That is, yeah, is just just outrageous in my mind. But um, yeah, that's that's the sort of inspiration for this. I, I just really want to spend more time honing in my craft as opposed to waiting for those big projects to come along where they just take so much time. Um, it, it'll be nice being able to get some good resolutions out of some pieces nice and quick. But this video, speaking of nice and quick, is going to be a short one. I hope you have enjoyed it. And yeah, look forward to more of these in the future.